Okay, we ended on the stuff with the internet. The next is foundations, installation, overview on the um, Odin Project foundations. Introduction. The first step for building any website is having the right tools. For us, that means setting up a development environment for writing code. Many online development courses use in-browser code editors or sandboxes, which give you the tools and programs needed to accomplish the task at hand and nothing else. You'll use some of these sandboxes throughout the early stages of the Odin project since they're great for getting started quickly. However, the best way to set yourself up for long-term success is to operate in a real development environment. We won't lie to you. Installing packages, editors, and even entire operating systems can be very frustrating. However, having the experience of setting up a development environment to run the code you'll write is an invaluable real-world skill you'll carry with you for the rest of your life, for the rest of your career. The installation plan. In the following sections, we'll go over the steps for setting up your environment. These sections are the most important steps in the entire curriculum. Well, that's a pretty big statement right there saying that these sections are the most important steps in the entire curriculum. Please take the extra time to double check what you're typing or you may cause more headaches for yourself down the road. In the next few lessons, we will walk through these installation steps together. Installing a supported operating system installing Google Chrome web browser, installing code editor, creating an SSH key, a personal password that will identify you to GitHub, Heroku, and many other sites you'll be using. I wonder if um, Vivaldi will be an adequate substitute for Google Chrome. All right, at the end of the next lesson, you'll be up and running with many of the tools you need to write and run code. It may seem like a lot of steps, but we'll get through it as painlessly as possible together. If anything goes wrong, remember to use these steps. Examine the terminal output for the actual error. Google, 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 and never be afraid to ask for help. Um, by the way, remember, there's other search engines beside just Google as well. Hope you don't mind that I threw that in there. For uh, Chromebook users, your OS choice has effectively been made for you. However, if your device supports the Linux beta, there are instructions in the next lesson on how to set this up on your device. OS options, Mac OS. If you're using a Mac, you're in great shape. The Odin Project instructions assume a Unix-based system. By installing just a few programs, you'll be up and running with your education in no time. Linux, the uh, official Ubuntu flavors. By the way, I use Manjaro, which is in the Arch line but uh, I used to use uh, Ubuntu. All right, in any case, Linux, official Ubuntu flavors. In fact, this system here is a Manjaro system. Linux is a free and open source operating system that works well with all programming languages. Most development tools are written to work natively with Linux. Your tools will likely be updated more often have more information available for, for troubleshooting, and just plain run better on Linux. We'll be using Ubuntu, one of the most popular and user-friendly distributions available. 
or the lighter weight alternative X Ubuntu. If you don't use a Mac, we recommend that you use Linux. It's that simple. Windows. Windows is not natively supported by the Odin project or on our Discord server. However, if you're currently using Windows, you can use either a virtual machine or dual boot to keep your Windows install while creating your development environment in Linux. A virtual machine is an emulation of a computer that runs within your existing OS. It allows you to use another operating system inside of a program on your current operating system, e.g. running Linux inside of Windows. Virtual machines are as simple to install as any other program and are risk-free. If you don't like Linux, you can easily remove the virtual machine. Virtual machines are a great way for new developers to get started quickly. Watch this video on virtual machines to achieve an overview of how they work. So I will try and link videos in the playlist that I put these videos on. Uh, the referenced videos. All right, dual booting, which I've done before between Linux and Windows. Uh, in fact, I think on this machine I had both Linux and Windows, but now I'm just running Linux here. All right, dual booting means installing two operating systems on your computer, which can give you the option to boot either Linux or Windows when your computer first starts up. The advantage of dual booting over a virtual machine is that the OS can use all of your computer's resources, resulting in a much faster operation. There is some risk to installing a dual boot system because you're changing your hard drive partitions, but you'll be okay as long as you take your time and read the instructions. Dual booting can be as easy as inserting a flash drive and clicking a few buttons. The benefits of dual booting cannot be overstated. You will allow Linux to access the full capabilities of your hardware. Have a clean and distraction-free environment for coding, and learn the platform used by many senior developers and servers around the world. Notice for Windows 11 users. Windows 11 released in October 2021. VirtualBox, the program that runs your virtual machine, does not currently support Windows 11 as a host operating system. This means that VirtualBox may not properly install or run on Windows 11, or that you could face serious bugs that hinder performance or cause crashes. If you are using Windows 11 on the computer, that you will be installing a Linux environment too. It is recommended that you install Linux via dual booting rather than installing via a virtual machine. You can see the currently supported operating systems for VirtualBox hosting in this section of their documentation. Concerned about installing a new OS operating system. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like my operating system just fine the way it is. If you don't have an Apple computer, you're likely using Windows. Don't worry. The options above don't mean you need to get rid of Windows. Linux will gladly share the hard drive with Windows. We know you probably learned a lot of tips and tricks for your favorite operating system and don't want to lose everything you have on your computer. However, most operating systems are developed with non-technical folks in mind, so they hide or make it difficult to use many of the languages and frameworks we'll need to install. Having to work around these difficulties causes many new developers to give up before they've even started their journey to full stack Nirvana. Modifying or dual booting a computer to work with the tools you'll need will make it much easier to start programming. 
can help create a distraction-free environment and will look good on your resume. Take a deep breath and let's look at your options. Still not convinced. Here are a few great reasons to install Linux. Tested. We've tested our directions with Mac OS, Ubuntu, and official Ubuntu flavors. We did the research so that you can get tools installed with as few issues as possible, getting you to coding sooner. Time spent wrestling with your operating system is time taken from learning how to code. Community support. Using the tools we recommend makes it easier for us to help when you run into trouble. Development tools are built for Linux. Ruby on Rails and Node.js, popular backend technologies covered by the Odin project and widely used in the larger web development community, are open source projects that explicitly expect to run on an open source Unix-based platform like Linux. Work like the pros. Many developers use a Unix-based operating system. Performance. You are worried about installing Linux because your machine is slow, older, and has limited space. When performance is a priority, Linux is a great choice. It uses fewer system resources than Windows and will occupy less hard drive space. Right, so can I add to that? So generally, I found that Linux runs much better than Windows on most machines. Many learners come to our Discord channel to ask if the directions on this page need to be followed. The moderators of our Discord server wrote everything you just read about the installation plan. Those supporting learners on our Discord server agree with the guidance on this page and will make the same recommendations you've read here. Before we can continue, we must first stress one detail of importance. We can only support what is provided within the scope of our curriculum. We do not support native Windows or any version of Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, as a development environment Using Windows and WSL has been discussed many times and it is not feasible to do so at this time. Please do not ask us to support Windows and please do not bring it up in the Discord. We are constantly evaluating our curriculum to keep content as fresh and accessible as possible and Windows, WSL, has not proven to be a path of low resistance. This links to GitHub issues with Microsoft, by the way, WSL. With that out of the way, we need to set up an appropriate development environment in the next video. Thank you.